Imagine, if you would, a police officer gets the call of an emergency at a bank. The bank is being robbed. As they respond to the location, they have no idea what's going on inside. We don't have x-ray vision. We can't tell exactly what's taking place. But now, our officers are going to be able to look at a computer screen in their car and see what is going on. As they make their approach to the bank building, they'll be able to set up their perimeter based upon what they've seen taking place. Okay, I'm going to view my camera and see if I can see him. Our existing IP video surveillance solution that we've been utilizing in Seal Beach here uses alarm triggers at specific locations to alert our dispatch center of a call for assistance. And once we receive that alarm trigger, we instantly get video from that location that we can then essentially do a virtual tour of the location. It's an exciting system and we've had incredible success with it. But one of the challenges we faced was the issue of having to re-authenticate when you move from one, let's call it, hot zone to another, the limitations of the wireless technology. Bringing in the mobile access router completely solves that problem for us. Now we can authenticate at one point in time, maintain a connection, and move through different subnets, through different access points, and actually into different network environments using different wireless technologies to maintain that IP video surveillance solution throughout our service area. The fact that that mobile access router truly becomes another repeater and expands our coverage beyond what we had in place prior to its deployment is an exciting application. You'll be able to access all the elements of the application, including the archive, using the PDA or IPAC. We cannot have our emergency first responders being concerned about network connectivity. They need to be concerned about responding to emergencies appropriately, and this is a huge tool for them to be able to have the information they need to respond. Before we got into testing the mobile router, some of the limitations were if I was responding to a crime, I couldn't see what that officer saw from his car. One of the elements the mobile router brings is the video from the car back to the network. So what that officer is seeing, I can now also see. The fact that we can get there sooner virtually using the mobile access router is going to allow us to scale our approach and respond more appropriately. It's just like when we first got radio cars, just like when we first got portable radios, this is going to be a dramatic change in how we do police work. Local law enforcement, fire departments, emergency medical technicians, we have to have real-time data to respond appropriately for calls for help. And what Cisco brought more than anything else was that, that shared vision along with them. Unbelievable networking experience and hardware. Well, we can see down the road moving into the other retail areas, department stores, uh, jewelry stores. We see this working in our schools and even our hospitals in terms of how we respond safely to those locations during emergency situations. I think that the potential for a suspect to know that the bank that he's walking in to rob has real-time video being broadcast to police cars responding to the area uh, makes him think, why do I want to hit this bank? The mobile access router provides a new tool to take information and move it seamlessly from multiple environments to the people that need it to bravely face the challenges that they face now. That's an exciting application that is going to, without question, save lives.